it's the most successful molecule that's ever been tested from a gyro per, uh, protective perspective in in the field of science and medicine. So there is no other molecule that has so repeatedly demonstrated a survival advantage across all species. So if you go back and look at the effect of mTOR inhibition on yeast, on worms, on flies, and of course, more recently on all types of mammals, all of these things are basically showing the exact same effect. Couple that with the fact that we have human data using Rapalogs dosed intermittently. So this is a very different dosing schedule than what is used for the immunosuppressive doses. And we see the opposite. Now we see immune enhancement. And that's why in the book, I make a point of saying, we've historically thought of rapamycin as an immune inhibitor. We're probably better off thinking of it as an immune modulator.